Eddie Gardner from High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire. Joseph O'Hanlon from Bangor in County Down. Carmen Smith from Clanfield in Oxfordshire. Harold Crosland from Wakefield in West Yorkshire. John Joyce from Ipswich. Colin Jocelyn from Swansea. Paul Hughes from Aintree or Merseyside. Tony Powell from Wollaston in Northamptonshire. Joy Calladine from Walthamstow in London. John Hamilton from Mablethorpe in Lincolnshire. Christine Beasley from Watford. Mary Middleton from Saddleworth in Greater Manchester. Stephen Knight from Dunstable in Bedfordshire. Jean Wright from Hampstead in London. And Edward Cook from Chelsea in London are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Our previous winner today is Tony Powell from Wollaston in Northamptonshire. Welcome back, Tony. We now have a full finals board and from today our players have two targets, the name at the bottom and the name at the top. A score above 61 to remove Roger Gibson and a score above 283 to take over at the top. If the tea tray is on the coffee table and you're sitting comfortably, we'll make a start. Two questions each in the first round, one correct answer from you to survive and we begin with Eddie Gardner from High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire. Eddie, the BBC. Rosie Millard and Nick Hyam work for BBC Radio and Television as correspondents or reporters on which subject? Politics. The arts. Joseph, please. Poetry. The first line of The Soldier. If I should die, think only this of me. Who wrote that poem? Wilfred Owen. Rupert Brooke. Carmen, please. Oceania is a general term applied to the islands in which ocean? Pacific. Harold, please. Animals. Which breed of dog has a short-tailed variety called Pembroke and a long-tailed variety called Cardigan? Corgi. John, please. Religion. Who is the head of the Yellow Hat sect of Lamaism and the spiritual leader of Tibetan Buddhists? The Dalai Lama. Colin, the history of sport. Cricket. Who, since Test cricket began in 1877, has captained England in Test matches the most times? Uh, Atherton. Yes. 52 and out. Paul, British history. Which two royal dynasties were joined by the marriage of James IV of Scotland to Margaret, daughter of Henry VII of England? Stuart and Plantagenet. The Stuarts and the Tudors. Tony, it dates from the 11th century and has at various times been called the King's Roll or the Winchester Roll. What has? I don't know. The Doomsday Book. Joy, in which outdoor game is the object to play the balls through six hoops and peg out by striking a central pin? Croquet. John, please. The name of the organisation which publishes which magazine? Uh, Consumer Council. No, it's a Consumers Association. They're totally different things. No. Christine, please. In the geographical British Isles, there are two crown dependencies. The name of either, please. The Isle of Man. Yes, and the Channel Islands. Mary... Africa. Who, following independence in the 1960s, was the first president of Kenya? Kenyatta. Yes, Jomo Kenyatta. And Stephen, famous quotations from 1897. The report of my death was an exaggeration. Which American writer said that? He actually died in 1910. I don't know. Mark Twain. Jean, please. Money and finance. What term is used to refer to that part of the economy which is not declared to the tax authorities? I don't know. The black economy. Edward, Spain. Whom did King Juan Carlos succeed as head of state in 1975? Franco. Yes, General Franco. And your second question, Eddie. Space exploration. Manned spaceflight. The research project Mercury was followed by Gemini, which was followed by the program which took men to the moon. Which program was that? <sighs> the Apollo program. Joseph, please. Landmarks. Which castle on the north coast of Cornwall features in Mallory's Mort Dartha? Launston Castle. Tintagel. Carmen, please. Proverbs. No man is a hero to his what? <sighs> Valet. Harold, please. Titles. Which hereditary post, whose duties include overseeing major ceremonials, is held by the Dukes of Norfolk? <coughs> Earl Marshall. John? Earl Marshall. In a Scrabble set, there are 100 tiles. 
12 of them are of the same letter. Which letter? E. Colin? Who, later canonised, began the conversion of the Anglo-Saxons in Kent to Christianity and established his primatial see at Canterbury in the 6th century AD? Augusta. No, you're nearly there. It's St Augustine. Paul, please. Music. Which Yorkshire-born composer, though paralysed and blind, continued to write music with the help of Eric Fenby? Sorry, I don't know. Frederick Delius. Tony, anatomy. What is the correct anatomical name for the elongated, almost flat bone that is commonly known as the breastbone? The sternum. Joy, please. Shipping. Based in the city of London, the name please of the world market for the chartering of cargo ships. Lloyds. The Baltic Exchange. John, please. Politics and voting. In a proportional representation system of voting, what does the abbreviation STV stand for? Uh, single. Say it. Uh, single something vote. Uh, One more chance, quickly. No? No. It's the single transferable vote. Christine, please. Music. In the Gilbert and Sullivan opera, Princess Ida, of what sort of institution is Princess Ida the head? A girls' school. Nearly. Again, you must be more precise. Girls' boarding school. No, it's a no. women's university. <laughs> Mary, please. Science and zoology. What word derived from Latin is used by zoologists to denote all the animals that occur in a particular region? Uh. No? <laughs> Fauna. Stephen, please. Card games. In contract bridge, what names are given to the players because of their positions at the table? Partners. North, south, east and west. Jean, the Lord Warden of the Stanneries is the chief officer of which duchy? Cornwall. And Edward the Peerage. Campbell is the family name of which Scottish Duke? Duke of Argyle. Yes, sir. Five down, ten to go. Laura? And they are Eddie Gardner, Joseph O'Hanlon, Paul Hughes, John Hamilton and Stephen Knight. And the remaining ten contestants, too, still have their three lives intact. Carmen, a question on ships to start round two. The Titanic was officially RMS Titanic. What does RMS stand for? Royal Merchant Ship. Royal Mail Ship. Harold, please. Science. What name is given to an electric current which flows only in one direction? Direct current. And number, please? Fifteen. Edward, history and politics. Before the Reform Act of 1832, what name was given to an English borough constituency controlled by one person or family who owned the land? Um, a fiefdom. A pocket borough. Again, please, Harold. Eleven. And Christine, television. The new BBC television comedy series, The Last Salute, is about the rivalry between two organisations in the 1960s. Which two organisations? Uh, the AA and the RAC. And number please, Christine? Um, number five. Children's books, John. Which group of cartoon characters is the most famous creation of Roger Hargreaves? The Mr Men. Indeed. And number please, John? Number 14. Motor cars, Jean. Which motor car manufacturing company makes the Explorer, Galaxy and Mondeo models? Ford. And number please, Jean? Six. Colin. What is the meaning of the Latin invocation used in the Roman Catholic Church, ora pro nobis? Ora pro nobis. Sorry, I don't know. Pray for us. Again, please, Jean. Number nine. Mythology, Joy. Eos, the Greek goddess of the dawn. Her Roman counterpart, please. Aurora. Again, please, Jean. Five. South Africa, please, John. King Goodwill Zuelatini is the king of which people? The Zulus. And number, please, John? Number 11. Sport and horse racing, Christine. At which race course are the 1,000 guineas and the 2,000 guineas run? Epsom. Newmarket. Again, please, John? Uh, number 12, please. The natural world, Mary. Anguin and Ophidian are adjectives that relate to which creatures? 
reptiles? You're on the right track, but you have to be more specific. Um. There are a particular kind of reptiles, so you must tell me which one. Snakes. A number, please. Um, Fifteen. Edward, sport and test cricket. England versus the West Indies. What first occurred in test cricket on the 29th of January in Jamaica? Uh, the match was cancelled due to a dangerous pitch. Yes, the state of the pitch. A number, please, Edward. Number eight. Tony, Woburn Abbey, a famous stately home, Whipsnade Zoo, and the town of Leighton Buzzard. Which county are they all in? Bedfordshire. A number, Tony? Fourteen, please. Jean, opera. There is a long tradition, especially in Vienna, of performing which opera by Johann Strauss on New Year's Eve with guest stars appearing in Act Two to do their party pieces? Merry Widow. <coughs> Deflade a mouse. Again, please, Tony. Number three, please. Orders and awards, Carmen. Oni soit qui mal y pense is the motto of which order of chivalry? Um, oh, um. The Order of the Garter. Again, please. Number 11, please. Christmas carols, Christine. The carol in the bleak midwinter was written by the sister of a pre-Raphaelite painter. Who wrote the hymn? Christina Rossetti. A number, please, Christine. Uh, number four. The game of snooker, Harold. In snooker, how many points does the green ball score? Three. A number, please, Harold. Number eight. Tony, poetry, Wordsworth. Earth has not anything to show more fair. What was he referring to? It's the Ode to Westminster Bridge, on, written on West, lines written on Westminster Bridge. I know, but what was he referring to? That was what the poem well, was called. Yes, it's the, it was the aspect from Westminster yes, Bridge. Yes, exactly, the yes. view from Westminster yes. Bridge. The City of London, in fact, yes. Uh, number 14, please. Jean, history of pop music. Which American brother and sister duo had seven United Kingdom top ten hits in the 1970s, including Yesterday Once More, Top of the World and Please Mr Postman? The Carpenters. A number, please. Number nine. Joy, history of the USA. George Armstrong Custer. What was his army rank at the time of his death at the Battle of the Little Bighorn? General. He never was. He was ever only a lieutenant colonel. Again, please. Number five. And still that battle, John, what was and still is the Little Big Horn? It's a hill. It's a river. Again, please, Jean. Number eight. And Tony, the generic name, please, for European imitations of Chinese art, which became very popular in the 17th and 18th centuries. Oh, uh, Jap... Jap No, the name is Shinwazari. Yeah. Again, please. Four. Politics, please, Harold. What term from the name of a 19th century American state governor is given to the rigging of electoral boundaries? <coughs> Gerrymandering. Again, please, Jean. Number 11. Christine, the duties of the holder of which office might be described as shrivel? S H R I E V A L. Shrivel. Uh, a priest. A sheriff. Again, please, Jean. Number 12. Astronomy, Mary. The moon. What type of geographical features are Caucasus, Harbinger, and Cordillera on the moon? Mountains. A number, please. Um, five. Foreign <coughs> words, John. What German word meaning hurt joy is used to denote pleasure at the misfortunes of others? Schadenfreude. Yes, Schadenfreude. A number, John. Number 14, please. Medicine, Jean. Tachycardia means a quick heartbeat. What is tachypnea? A slow heartbeat. <coughs> Rapid breathing. Again, please. Number eight, please. And Tony, television. Which ITV regional company has its headquarters in Plymouth? Television West. <coughs> West Country Television. Again, please, John. Number 12, please. Proverbs, Mary. If you run after two hares, what will happen? You'll lose both. Yes, well, you will catch neither. Yes, OK. <laughs> A number, please. Um, number six. And, Colin, who was the first child born to a reigning British monarch in the 20th century? Prince Edward. Prince Andrew. Again, please, Mary. 
Uh, number five. Medicine, John. Angioplasty is a form of surgery on which parts of the body? The arteries. Well, uh, blood vessels, okay, yes. Uh, number four, please. Harold, the secret life of Walter Mitty. Which American humorist was the creator of Walter Mitty? James Thurber. A number, Harold? Number 12. Mary, religion. What nationality was the 16th century reformer and theologian John Calvin? Scottish. French. Again, please, Harold. 15. Edward, proper names. What sort of name is a matronymic or metronymic name? A uh, name that you take when you get married? No, it's a, it's a name derived from a mother or a female ancestor. Again, please. Number 12. Mary, in which Commonwealth country are the Kimberley Plateau, the Darling Mountain Range and Lake MacLeod major geographical features? South Africa. Australia. <laughs> it is 12 down, 3 to go. And after the break... Harold Crosland from Wakefield in West Yorkshire, John Joyce from Ipswich and Edward Cook from Chelsea in London will be here for the final. Do please stay with us. Surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Harold Crosland, a retired civil servant from Wakefield in West Yorkshire. He enjoys foreign travel, horse racing, and taking part in a weekly quiz at the Cricketers' Arms at Horbury. But above all, he likes to spend time with his three grandchildren and his four-month-old great-granddaughter, Summer. John Joyce, a computer consultant from Ipswich. His interests include films, crosswords, beer and real ale, and reading, especially detective novels. And Edward Cook, an IT consultant from Chelsea in London. He is self-employed and in his spare time he likes pencil sketching, playing the piano, watching The Simpsons on television and going to the pub but not taking part in pub quizzes. Thank you. Welcome back. Harold, John, Edward, put your fingers on the buzzers and we'll make a start and a winning score above 61 for a place on the finals board. Here we go. Which European country lies landlocked between Germany, France, Italy, Austria and Liechtenstein? Harold? Switzerland. In the 1920s and 1930s, the Duchess of Windsor, Princess Marina, a Duchess of Kent, Princess Alice, a Duchess of Gloucester, and the Queen Mother were all married. Who was their mother-in-law? Edward? Queen Victoria. Queen Mary, Mary of Tech. Which science fiction novel describes the arrival of Martians in Woking, who then proceed to London via Kingston and Richmond? Edward? The Day of the Triffids. The War of the Worlds, H.G. Wells. Medicine. Gravidity, gravidity, is the medical term for which female condition? John? Pregnancy. It is. On a famous 15th century voyage, Martin Alonso Pinzon was the captain of the Pinta. His brother Vicente captained the Nina. Who was the captain of the... John? Christopher Columbus. Yes, on the Santa Maria. Medicine, what medical term is used to refer to disease which is always present in a given population? Malaria in West Africa, for example. Endemic. Athletics. Listen carefully. In a 4 by 100 metres relay race, how many runners take the baton from one runner and pass it on to another? Edward? Two. Yes, the two middle ones. And on we go. And this is sport. Which French tennis star of the 1920s used his nickname of the crocodile as an emblem on... John? Lacoste. Yes, René Lacoste. And the choice is yours. Question or nominate? Could I nominate Edward, please? Edward? International committees. Juan Antonio Samaranch is the president of which international committee? The United Nations. The International Olympic Committee. <laughs> John, I'm back with you. Question or nominate? Could I nominate Harold, please? Harold, still the Olympics. Sitius Altius Fortius is the motto of the Olympic movement. What does it mean, Sitius Altius Fortius? Uh, to the best shall win. Faster, higher and stronger. Again, please, John, question or nominate? Nominate again, please. Mathematics, Harold. What is seven-eighths as a decimal fraction? 
0.875. Again, please, John. Nominate again, please. Harold, which secret society formed in the 18th century has a reputation for organised crime amongst Chinese communities around the world? The Triads. Question or nominate? John. Famous quotations from the writer Sir Henry Ryder Haggard and later borrowed by John Mortimer. She who must be... Obeyed. Question or nominate? Nominate, please. What is the common term for anthropophagy? Anthropophagy. Ancient uh, reptiles. Cannibalism. <laughs> well, that was fairly quick, John, but there's a long way to go. Still, you've got very, very good chances. 42 points to start. Your three lives intact. 26 questions, so listen carefully. Art. Which French artist is particularly associated with his paintings and sculptures of ballerinas? Degas. Politics. Which 19th century British Prime Minister took the title Earl of Beaconsfield when he went to the House of Lords? The Israeli. Musicals. From My Fair Lady, what hardly ever happened in Hartford, Hereford and Hampshire? I don't know. Hurricanes. Painting and art. What is the brown pigment obtained from the ink of cuttlefish called? Sepia. What sort of activity or hobby is undertaken by a person called a spelunker? S-P-E-L-U-N-K-E-R. Spelunker. I don't know. Exploring caves. In which London square are there statues of William Shakespeare and Charlie Chaplin? <coughs> Leicester Square. If you'd heard those questions, go to Harold or Edward, <coughs> you'd have known the answer to every one, wouldn't you? No. Oh, you wouldn't have? Well, that's fair enough. Anyway, a winning score there is 72. You're on the finals board, John, in position number 14. It won't be long before you're the target for 15 people standing behind you there. But nevertheless, come and join us later in the year for another go. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we go, a reminder that we have started auditioning for the autumn series, which begins in September or October. So if you'd like to be considered for an audition, the address will come up at the end of the programme. And here's another look at the finals board, if it's any help, when trying to calculate your entries for our finals board competition. And if you need any guidelines, here are the results of the last five competitions. 272, 173, 272, 191, 311, 201, 292, 161 and 333, 173. And a reminder that any scores have to end in a 1, 2 or 3, being the number of lives that players can bring forward from rounds 2. In each of the last two or three competitions, we've had at least a dozen or so entries, with five or six or seven or eight as the last figure. And that, of course, immediately disqualifies any entry. That's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>